I knew that that was going to happen anyway. Oh, naturally. So here's what we here's what we're thinking, right? Finally, yes. Thankfully, you made it through the day. Your voice is not gone. So not quite yet. No. All right. Um, but we promised you um, a behind the scenes look. Okay. So what we thought we would do, other than the dinosaurs, which I have a little bit of a surprise for Paul because he mm. actually doesn't know this yet. Really? We have some dinosaurs for you. I promised, right? It's a rider I have. You know, when I do something like this, I need dinosaurs. Yeah. That and the green screen and coffee and blue, like blue M&Ms. And I don't need the massage. <laughs> we're good. Yeah. Anyway, um, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to do this session as if uh, we were actually going through it, but mm -hmm. our wonderful production team here. Tony. Um, Tony is in the studio here with us. You can't obviously see him. Um, he's just going to toggle back and forth between what you guys see right now, which is like the final production, yep. and what we actually see in the room so that you can actually get that behind the scenes look. So we're going to pretend like everything's normal. Everything's normal. Because for us, everything is normal. You just are going to see um, a couple things. And you know, maybe here and there, we'll have a couple surprises. But Works for me. I'm looking forward to it. In case you're wondering, um, this is how we actually get your chat messages, right? Yes. So the entire time we're sitting here, well, I mean, Paul was presenting, but I was sitting here, I was roaming around the studio, um, basically looking at my surface like, oh, yep, you know, there we are. We got some um, comments in here, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to type on my surface, and then every once in a while, I, you know, I click in with my surface thing here. And anyway, so that's how that works. So I guess we should probably answer some of these questions. Yeah. But before that, actually, we promised an announcement. Yes. Of course, now looking at uh, at the chat here. It's been blown. I can <laughs> see that too. But So here I am in the studio, and I'm like, I get this email saying, hey, by the way, there's an email going out yeah. to everybody in the developer movement that says, by the way, developer movement has been extended. Yeah. And, and then it, has. it goes out. <laughs> so I put it in the chat. I'm like, yes, I can tell them some great news. And then it goes out before that. And then, you know, Archie Coder in here is like, hey, look at you know, there will no longer be caps. Surprise! <laughs> so that's announcement number one. Yeah. But really, that was announcement number two, because announcement number one was actually that it was being extended past yeah. today. Yeah. It's a very popular uh, program. We did it last fiscal year. Our fiscal year is from uh, July to June, by the way, just in case you're wondering when we talk about Not that that's complicating. No, um, no, no. But yeah. basically, that's, uh, you know, we did it last year. It was awesome. We did it again this year, and it's uh, very popular, as you can imagine, which is why we're extending it again. So thank you, everybody, who's been uh, building apps. Feel free to continue to build apps. I saw there was a question from Philip K. around uh, apps that you may have already submitted but were rejected because of too many apps. We'll take a look into that and see if we can provide some, some details around that because, honestly, I, I don't know uh, personally if, uh, how that's going to work. Uh, but we will get back to you on that to make sure that uh, we have the right right answers for you. So you know they're they're going on in there about yeah the, the twins. Yeah, comments. but 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 I'm Do the we handsome look one. Look like we're this. Anyway, uh, any more in here? Uh, so far, no. short haired glasses. Yeah. Okay, guys, come on, this is live. Yeah. Oh. Stuff. Hey, my dinosaur. <laughs> All right. Surprise. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Uh, you see, this is what happens when, when you're live in a studio. You That's have a right. green screen behind you. Weird things can happen. Absolutely. I actually had uh, a funny story. One time, uh, one time we had James Chambers here in the studio, and he was recording a session for some some web stuff. Anyway, and at the end of it, he says to me, he's like, "Hey, can I have like five minutes with the green screen?" I'm like, "Uh." <laughs> <laughs> a little bit worried. Anyway, yeah. so he goes in and he starts um, he starts doing this kind of floating kind of weird thing. And then he sent, it was cute, he sent a message to his children mm -hmm. that he was then in post-production going to add in the space station behind him. So he was like nice. floating in the ISS. Anyway. That's pretty cool. Um, so in our case, we're actually in the jungle, in Paul's jungle. Yes. The I'll Jurassic Paul. There you go. I'll leave it at that. You guys can in, uh, extrapolate what you want from that. Absolutely. Um, OK, so going back to, since we're going to wait for a little <coughs> bit more questions, mm -hmm. more tour of the studio here. So we're just going to have Tony walk over here to the camera. Nope. <laughs> All right, so let's give you a tour around. So we're sitting here on chairs, because that's how we do. Bar stool type of things, yeah. Minus the drinking, of course, because we're not allowed to drink while we're working. Yeah. Right. 
And then in front, you see, of course, you guys were talking about, um, you know, you guys were talking about the Timmy's yeah. online. So there, of course, naturally, I got to do, you know, this is what I drink. Granted, it's not as big as the one that you were showing, but <laughs> I mean, it's not coffee. It's green tea, I promise. But you see, the laptop is set up yeah. here, um, and it's connected, hardwired into our machine that's actually doing the streaming. And that way, that's actually how you get to see my screen, and you get to see Paul's screen. Yep. Um, oh, we do have a question. Is that a custom lid? Is that a custom lid for it's, the, for it's the a cup or for the ca for the laptop? Uh, I'm going to say the cup. I mean, probably the cup. Is it's one of those Timmy's reusable ceramic yeah. ones. But hey, I'm, we're here to evangelize technology, not coffee. So yes. you can just go to yeah, their site for that. Anyway, so Absolutely. as you see around, you see lights. Those lights are the ones that light up. The green screen makes effectively the background behind us that you see kind of disappear. And then I get to add all these funky. Um, I guess you can say funky logos, jungles, dinosaurs, yeah. dinosaurs you know, whatever it is that you yeah. want. Um, all of the walls are soundproof so that anything that goes on in here, you yeah. guys can hear out there. Well, I mean, you guys can hear it. It's but. actually kind of interesting because there's a lot of construction going on just outside this room because we're building a, a new technology center inside of the Microsoft building. You can't hear anything because it's all soundproof. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and the best part is is that when, when we're in here and we're recording a live session like this, um, sometimes Tony, again, who's part of the production team here, sits outside of the studio. Yep. <laughs> and I, you know, like there there'll be times where I'm like, hey Tony, we're off the air. Can you can you come in here? And of course I'm yelling to myself because yeah. the room is completely soundproof. Uh, anyway, so what else can I tell you? So we talked about the lights, we talked about the lights, we talked about the walls. Um, Microphones, obviously, as you can see. But really, I think the, the real cool magic, and Tony's going to walk over the computer there that you'll see in a second, um, is how we're actually able to take all of these together in terms of you know creating this visual element. Right? You see the yeah. green screen that's behind us right now. Soon you're going to see that it turns white. And now all of a sudden, look at that, has developer movement logo. You know, like magic, right? Yeah. yeah. But, 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 there is also you know, how you get to see the screen. And you saw before, as we were panning around, the screen is connected, or my laptop, or yep. Paul's laptop, or whoever Whatever is, it is presenting, yep. is actually hardwired into um, a router, which is then hardwired into a machine that we have there. And sure enough, you can see my screen. So I'll give you an example there. Um, oh, that would be my calendar. You don't want to see that. Uh, um, and what you do want to see is this guy. So I'm going to open up IE there. Yep. And you can actually see how we're technically overlaid on the screen. And I can do whatever I want with the screen. And I thought I had the chat on there, but I didn't. Right? And then the funny part is when our hands disappear off the screen. See that? Uh, uh, OK. I'm holding anyway. IE in my hands. There you go. You're holding the world in your hands. Yes. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the only time where you're going to be able to do that. <laughs> Dream big. There you go. Yeah. Um, OK, so what else do you want to know? I think that, that's pretty much it of the magic that, that happens. Back yeah, there. I mean, it's uh, obviously there's lots of technology that makes this happen. But at the same yeah. time, you know, this technology makes it simple enough that we can do this on the fly so yeah. that we can deliver these great you know, live presentations and Q&As and everything else like that. That and, of course, an awesome production team that we have here. So Tony's thanks to Tony. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. Tony. Um, but yeah, and, and also the other thing that um, I know was asked of me the last time, not necessarily in the chat right here, is is, well, how do you guys get the videos up there so quickly onto Channel 9, YouTube, so on and so forth? So that one is actually a really um, coordinated effort between um, what goes on here in the studio and what goes just outside the studio when we do yep. the production. Mm -hmm. And it literally is, I sit in here, and that's why you actually heard Paul mention a couple times, you know, JR sitting over there, or I'm cracking up and Paul's looking at me, or um, in the earlier dev camp sessions, you would have seen um, Atley kind of sometimes glance at me because I'm sitting there and, like, let's say he's being too loud, I'd be like, yeah. you know, like this. Or at one point, Paul stood up way too, right? And this yeah. is what was happening. You see that? And, and if you saw me go like, <laughs> I was basically going, Paul, like this, go down. <laughs> anyway. Because I'm too tall. At at yeah, five seven or whatever. So I get to play director while we're in the studio here with all the presenters, and they're looking at me, and they're you know because I have no other way of communicating with them, because um, mm -hmm. you know if I send them a message, then you guys see it on the screen, so that's not good. Yep. Um, and usually when it goes into that big screen where you see just the screen, that's usually when I'm telling the presenters, hey, you know, like scratch your scratch your head, pick your nose, whatever, because um, can't nobody can see you. Exactly. Like you, right, like right now, right and now like, I'm scratching you, my head. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to know what Paul's doing, but it doesn't matter. I'm not doing anything, actually. Um, You're whatever. They can see bad. it. It doesn't matter. See? It doesn't matter. Yeah. Point is, anyway, so by the time the session is done, 
Um, we push the files from the machine that I have in here over to the production studio. Right then and there, Tony takes out all of his tools, blah, 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 cut, chop, clean up, uh, put some intros, put some extras, and then ships up to Channel 9. And that's how you guys get your videos within um, a couple of hours of the session. So it, yeah. it really is a, it's, it's, it's a, it's an, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So especially when and, and Paul was talking about this earlier with someone else, where like we know you guys are out there, but we can't see you. No. So it, it's it's different to interact, but it's fun nonetheless. Oh yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, it's it's always good to interact. I mean, th this is interesting because not only can we interact with you on the live basis when we're actually doing the sessions, but now we can actually have a conversation with you beyond just the session itself, and that's really important because. A lot of people, when they talk to us, I mean, for Windows Phone, I'm sure for Windows Azure as well, and Windows 8, is they say, yeah, I okay, do talk this other so things other than Windows Azure, but anyway. But, <laughs> but, I but I mean, it's kind of tough because there's so much information out there that you don't even know where to start. So this is a good place to start, you know, get you sort of kick-started or, or give you some tips and tricks that you may not have thought of before. And beyond that, you can actually figure out how to make your applications better and your services better and your software in general better as a result of you know, some of the help that we can provide. And obviously, um, you saw my email address up there, my Twitter handle. Um, I try my best to answer as quickly as I can. Uh, likewise, Jonathan and the rest of the team, Mark Gagne, Susan Eibach, Thomas Lewis, Fred Harper. Um, that's it. That's well, that's another dev, dev side. side. Yeah. And then we have Anthony Bartolo and Pierre Roma on our team as well. Yeah. So, Which we're trying to convince them to do something similar like this too. But We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, point being, if you like this format, and hopefully you do, um, that's why we gather all of your evals. That's why we pay attention to, you know, that's why I hammer you guys on the chat, you know, evals, evals, evals. Yeah. Um, but also that main eval that you have on the page there because, hey, we could do this all the time, but if mm -hmm. it works for you, cool. If it doesn't work for you, we want to tweak it. So. Well, to, to that point, actually, this whole uh, dev camp that we have, we, it was focused on the HTML aspects of Windows Phone development, which was kind of weird, right? If you think about it from a traditional camp standpoint, you know, it's not something we talk about a lot. Well, the reason why is I've received feedback from developers such as yourselves that you actually wanted to know what our story was for HTML5 experiences on the phone specifically. And as a result of that, what we've done is we've actually added this to our curriculum, if you want to call it that, uh, as something that you can use to, to move forward. So that's kind of why we did things the way we did. And hopefully today you notice that you know there's lots of really cool things that you can do on Windows Phone that maybe you not knew, didn't know about before. Mm -hmm. um, and um, certainly when I was doing my research for this and when I uh, started playing around with the HTML5 template for for Visual Studio 2012 for Windows Phone 8. Um, I was duly impressed because I didn't even really know exactly what was there. So um, it's it was a learning experience for for me, and I'm I'm hopefully you found it uh, valuable as well. So I'm just yeah. checking if there's anybody else. Yeah, yeah. I think you guys are w just way more interested in the behind the scenes. Yeah, which is kind of cool too, for sure. Now, I thought there was a. While question. you're looking for that, I think we should have a. I think we should have more dinosaurs. What do you think? Yeah, dinosaurs are always dinosaurs. good. Dinosaurs. Yeah. Where are the dinosaurs? Bring on the dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Back in Paul's jungle. Yeah. I, I, got, I got the little, you know. Where the dinosaurs? Tyrannosaurus rex. Uh, I think he went to the uh, There he is. There he is. Should we sing the third act of No. No, I want to keep doing this. <laughs> um, okay, so what else? Um, what else? Well, I guess in the meantime, th there's a lot of people tell me where, where you can start with Windows Phone in general. And uh, I mentioned, but I'll mention it again just because uh, it's really important. Anything and everything you want to do with uh, Windows Phone, dev windowsphone.com. That's your one-stop shop. And if you want to learn about how to design great applications for Windows Phone, design.windowsphone.com is where you should go. So those are the two things that I would tell you that are absolutely should be part of your repertoire of uh, link URLs or whatever uh, if you're building for Windows Phone. Beyond that, though, there's a whole bunch of other things. So one of the things that um, I didn't really go through today because uh, Bruce Johnson actually, <laughs> Bruce Johnson actually mentioned uh, in a previous uh, session was the mobile Azure, uh, the Azure Web Mobile Web Services. Now he's uh, talking my crock lack language. Well, yeah, because one of the things that you may not realize is that this is an amazing, amazing uh, thing for you as a web developer, uh, not web developer, but a mobile developer. Um, these web services are great because they allow you 
to build services that exist on the back end in Azure uh, using SQL Server databases in like, SQL Azure, as it were. Um, and it really does add an element of liveliness to your application. So if you haven't seen Bruce Johnson's uh, 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 session on this, Probably a good idea to take a look at. It's one of the developer movement webcasts. Yep. Was it .NET Camp or what was it? It was actually in the first one. So that's aka.ms slash dm dev camp. Yeah. So, so definitely take a look at that. I highly recommend it. Beyond that, we talked a little bit about the fact that there's um, a website is a good example of how you can actually market your application. Um, Azure websites, free. It's easy to do. And I don't know what he's doing there. But I was trying to. I was trying to prevent me from hearing you. Oh. Because technically we're out of time. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Right. And and and, well, I mean for you guys, right? Yeah. Clearly, he's still in the dev camp mode. I'm in the yes. I've done six of these already. I get to <laughs> relax for just a bit. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, the only other thing I was going to share with you of what you guys keep looking at, or what you what it looks like that we're looking at, is actually a mirror image of ourselves so that we can actually see what you guys see. So that's why you yep. saw me fixing my hand. Yeah, and I can, I can do this. And he can see that he's doing that. Right. So can't really show you what we're looking at because it's actually built right into, into the, the camera, camera yeah. so that it looks like we're looking straight and we're actually looking at ourselves, mm -hmm. really. But we're actually looking at the camera. Yep. Um, so I think that's it from, from uh, MS Studios. Should yeah. We, should we, you know, I think we should call it something cooler than that. DP Canada Studios. Yes. yes. DPE Canada. By the way. In case any of you guys don't know, what is DPE, Paul? Developer and Platform Evangelism, developer, which developer, is the group developer. that Jonathan and I were. <laughs> I saw those comments too. We're not <laughs> allowed one, to, to, to do that one anymore. No, it's kind of funny. Did you see me no, dancing I didn't, around? No, no, I just said no. the words. I know. I had to do that for uh, for um, Philip K. That yeah, absolutely, was absolutely. But anyway, uh, so we should probably sign off. Sign off, but there's a couple things I want to say first before we do that. Oh, one is okay. Um, take over my show. Thank you fine. very much for. <laughs> Thank you very much for, for joining me today. Uh, I, I know host, that it was a lot of uh, content uh, thrown at you, and it was one speaker, which sometimes can be a little bit monotonous. So thank you for sticking Not when in you're there. giddy and you start singing. Yeah, swing low. Yeah. I, had I, to I, do I didn't that know too. that you, you just told I had me that. to do it. Because you're sitting there, you're singing, and you're like, oh, I'm getting all giddy. And well, I'm like, fine, show it. I didn't know you were. Yeah, I didn't know we were recording. Again, the beauties of a live show, right? Exactly. So anyways, uh, I, I just did want to say, <laughs> say thank you very much for, for joining us. Yeah, it it meant a lot to me that you were here. Um, if you're watching this on demand, that's cool too. Uh, feel free to give me a shout if you have any questions. Happy to, uh, to answer those as need be. Um, and the last thing I want to ask you is a very important question. Ask me or ask them? Uh, ask you, actually. Oh. But wait, um, before you do that, maybe we should flip to green screen one more time. OK. Tell me. Just for fun, so that they can, you know, as the left. There, oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Um, I thought it was pretty. Yeah. But. Well, no, it's kind of cool. It's got that sort of Green Lantern aura or something like that. Going That's on. just me. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's do oh, it. Oh, there's a. There we go. I, I, okay. One of the things that's been bugging me all day, and I've been meaning to ask you, is um, which one's more important, hallways or trumpets? I, I have no idea. Mm, forget it. You didn't get the joke, but that's no, okay. clearly. Yeah, dude, I spend my day in the studio. <laughs> anyway, with that, I'm gonna take Paul's thank you, and I'm gonna say thank you times six, considering yeah, that um, a good chunk of you, at least that we've seen on the chat, have stuck through me, uh, or stuck with me. Not touching that through um, <laughs> these last six camps over the entire course of the month. So uh, thanks for that. Hopefully, it's been great. It certainly has been a lot of fun for me, keeping you guys um, entertained and engaged, and all that kind of fun stuff. Looking forward to do it again. If you want us to do it again, yeah, best Tell way to do that. Evals, the evals. Yeah, yes. and in the eval, if there's something on Windows Phone that we are not touching that you think we should be starting to talk about, Why? talk about. We're it. talking about the dev camps in general. Why do you have to go back to? Because Windows that's Phone? what we're doing here today. But I'm talking about the entire thing. See, and by the way, in post production, we take stuff like that out. No, we don't. We don't. No, but we can. Yes. What can you do? <laughs> okay. By the way, thank, what? thank you, Jonathan, for doing one. all this for us. Uh, it was a dude. fantastic thing. Tony, thank yes. you very much. Tony. You did a fantastic job with this as well, so I want to say thank you to you as well. 
Um, and obviously, the most important thank you is to our audience. Oh, see, there, so. Tony's nodding for yeah, you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's that's right. right. And but he's multitasking too. He's running back and forth between computer to camera, computer to camera. There's only so much room in the studio, so we can't have more people. Naturally. Um, but with that, we're going to sign off. So okay. thanks again for joining us. It's been a lot of fun. We'll hope uh, to see you too, or soon. Developermovement.ca. Find out Extended. more. Extended. That too. Yeah. <laughs> Tony says. She's Bring home like the cheddar. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't know what that reference is to, we'll, we'll figure out a way to get it back to you. Yeah. So. I don't know if we're allowed doing that, but we'll certainly try. We'll try. Um, okay. See ya. All right. Do, do.